Hello, this is Deepak Kirbakarin with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. This video demonstrates how to manage the organizational structure in ACCCM. The chart which you're seeing in the presentation describes the ACCCM organizational structure and multi-tenancy. The first level is location, which depicts the tenant. The second level is the site, which is connected to the location. The third level is the department which is connected to the site. The fourth level is the team connected to the department. The fifth level are the users and agents which are assigned to the team. ACCCM organizational chart supports multi-tenant architecture which means you can create unlimited number of locations and create an organizational chart like mentioned above to each of these locations. In this demo, we will see how to add the site, department, team, and users in ACCCM hierarchy. This is the ACCCM website, which is open in the desktop, and I am in the Users tab. The ACCCM organizational chart is located on the left side of the ACCCM Users tab. We can expand the levels of the organization's chart by clicking on the small plus button in each organizational levels. For example, when you click on the Pune department and expand it, you get the Pune team. We can also see a graphical structure of the organizational chart by clicking on the Show Organizational Chart button. As we can see here in the organizational chart, Deepak 63 test is the location, Pune is the site, which is assigned to the Deepak 63 test location. Pune department is the department name which is assigned to the site and Pune team is the team name which is assigned to the Pune department. And then you will have users like agents or other users or supervisors who will be assigned to the Pune team. Now we will be creating an organizational chart. As we know, the topmost hierarchy in the organizational chart is the location. In order to create a new location or to manage a location, you need to go to the CFT option, click on CFT, and you'll see the locations which is listed on the left side. You can see different locations like CM51, CM52, CM6, Deepak 63 test locations which are created. When you click on Deepak 63 test location, for example, you will see the different servers like the CM server or the servers which are assigned to this particular location. So if you want to add a location, click on plus button here and create a location and click on Save. You can see that the test hierarchy, which is a new location name, is reflected on the list of locations. Now that we have created a new location, now let us quickly go ahead and create a new site and assign that particular site to the location which we have created. In order to create a new site, you click on the organizational chart button over here, and then go to the right and select the organizational chart with the plus button icon. Click on this. This will prompt us to enter a new site name, a site description, and the site location where the site has to be mapped to. So I select a new site as test site and I select the locations. This drop-down box contains all the list of the entire locations in the hierarchy. So I select test hierarchy which is the location which I created last time. Click on OK. You can uncheck the Show in ANAV button here because ANAV is a proprietary reporting tool which is used by IT Navigator. And if you'd like this data to be projected in ANAV, you can check this box. You also can delete it. Save this. Operation completed successfully. Now click on Users tab again. And you can see here a test site has been created here. Now that the test site has been created, now let us create a new department and associate that particular department to this site. So I again go to the same icon and it prompts to enter the department name. So I give a test department and associate that with the test site which we have created and save this. 
I click on test department now and click on the organizational hierarchy again. This would prompt us to enter the new team where the department has to be mapped to. So I give the new team name as test team and this is mapped to the test department. I select this. Operation is completed successfully. Now go again to the users tab. Now that the test team is created, now let us assign users to this test team. So I select the plus mark here. This would prompt us to enter the users associated with that particular team. So you can create a new user or you can assign a group of users to the team. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful to you. For any questions or feedback, please email to mentor at hawaii.com or at Hawaii Mentor on Twitter. For more details and other related technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.